Hi there. Thank you for watching this clip on reference angle. It's actually a unit circle. We have two questions here. It looks seemingly difficult. Let's read through it. Express sine minus 150 degrees as a function of a positive acute angle. So we've got to find this angle first. The second one, we're giving a terminal side intersect the unit circle at a point, and we're supposed to find out what the angle is. Okay, the best way to solve this one is actually using a unit circle. What I'm going to draw here is a pretty fairly explode up circle. It's a pretty good circle. All right, so what you want to do is recognize a couple things. Okay, x value always gives you the cosine, where y value gives the sine angle. It's no mystery. Now, the x is always over here. And this side is our adjacent, so adjacent gives you the cosine. So there's no mystery over there. I missed over here a little bit. So x cosine, y to the sine. Now x is cosine because that deals with the adjacent side. Okay, sine is the y because it stands up. It's the opposite side. So if you can remember this, rest of the stuff, it's relatively easy. Let's see how we do that. Okay, minus 150 degrees means you're going to go clockwise, and you are 30 degrees away from 180. Okay, so this big, long, huge angle here is minus 180. 50 degrees, and you are 30 degrees away from 180, okay? Now, watch this one. I exaggerated it here a little bit. The y value is minus half, okay, which is our uh, sine value, okay? And then the x value here is minus radical 3 over 2. The trick you remember is this. The reason I exaggerated, you can't see, this arm is a lot longer than this arm, okay? So the longer arm is always, let's write it over here on top, maybe on the side of here. Long arm is always radical 3 over 2 because radical 3 is 1.732 divided by 2, and it's bigger than 0.5, all right? So long arm is always the longer one. Okay, so basically we're looking for acute angle such that the sine value is a half. Well, let's go to the half, and then we can see it's going to give us the 30 degrees here, but it's opposite. So therefore, we're going to see sine of 150, so minus 150, is equal to minus sine of 30 degrees. Okay, because sine of minus 150 from the picture we saw was minus half, right? And the sine of 30, the y value is half, it's a shorter arm, okay, with a minus sign in between, and yes, they do equal. Okay, so once again, the answer for the portion one is sine minus 150 is equal to minus of sine 30. 30 degrees is an acute angle in that it's less than 90 degrees and it's positive, as in quadrant one. Okay, now second question, we're asked to find the angle if the unit circle is intersected as x equal to half, minus half, okay, so minus half, y is equal to minus radical 3 over 2. Okay, so here's our angle here. All right, this angle here, well, we can go a couple ways. We can go around. Let's just do that one. Okay, so we got down to 180 degrees plus this extra angle, which is 60 degrees. So it's equal to 240 degrees. So this uh, this angle ended over here with the x value to be minus half. Y value is longer arm. Okay, that makes the 60 degrees. And since I started at 180 and went again 60 degrees more, my angle is 240 degrees. All right. Hope this has been helpful to you. This is Dr. Pan host of Tucson Math Doc channel on YouTube. Join me for more updates on this channel. Together, we can conquer math. Until next time, have a confident day.